Hey guys, Calvin here from techgenie.webs.com and welcome to another video tutorial on how to oh crap, I miss it. Just a sec. On how to record your i um iPod's touch screen, iPhone screen jailbroken. It has to be jailbroken. Don't forget that. Onto your desktop. Now, there's a couple ways to do it, but this is my way, so if you ever want to, like, say, no, this is the wrong way, this is my way to do it, okay? My way. So, let's start off with opening our iPod, turning on our iPod, so, bam. It's a bit laggy, don't worry. Just slide that. It's actually pretty laggy, but there you go. See, as you can see, you will be able to... Uh, view your iPod screen just like that. Now this did take me quite a while to figure out, but I eventually got there. Now you want to open up Cydia. That's why you want the jailbroken iPod or iPhone. Just go right there. And yes, I did lock out my uh, IP address just for safety reasons and whatnot. As you can see, the VNC sign is up there. Yes, that means that it is being recorded. Let's close that. Okay, now, what you want? Oh, okay. Sorry. Just let that reload. Okay, now, well, God. Come on. Let's go. Oh my! Normally it doesn't take this long. Okay, there. So now, what you want to do is you can search it or look it, look for it through sections. But I like to search just because it's faster. Now go to search and just search in V E E N C Y V N C or I don't know how to pronounce that, but. Yeah, that VNC. I'll just call it that. Now we will click on it, obviously. Now, and then we just well, you, you'll install it. Just install it, and then bam, you have VNC. Okay. Now we that's done for the iPod. Now we will go on to the computer screen to show you how to get this program that I'm using at the moment to um, record your screen so yeah we'll see you there okay guys so now we are on our computer my computer screen so now what you want to do is open up your internet browser and then this link will be in the description so don't worry so what you want to do is go to real VNC dot com or just click on the link in the description obviously now <coughs> the link will bring you to this uh, page now what you want to do you can do this or not is fill that out but you don't have to I didn't so you just click on proceed to downloads and then basically you just click whatever um, one you like I would I recommend getting this one but if you're on a 32 bit or something I don't know I just got this one okay so just click you can also get zip archiv or executable so I just like zip archives then you click download and then if you want to read that it's your choice I wouldn't but yeah and then just click I accept these terms and conditions download and then this will open and then you know you know how to do it but if you don't then I would go to the executable now once that's done oops, just a second <coughs> okay once that is done what you want to do is this should pop up ultra VNC viewer okay what you want to do is click on it and it won't okay now what you want to do is you want to type in your IP address for the internet that you are currently using okay so where you can find that is 
just open that up. So you want to go to settings. Oh, you can click on it too. Hmm, just found that out. And then you go to whatever Wi-Fi you're on. Just click on that. And click on that um, arrow. And then right there, the very first thing there should be your IP address. Now, all you have to do throw that in there and then click on connect. Now, then, so, uh, after that, actually, why don't I disconnect and show you how to do it? So, I'm just going to type in my thing as I bring that down. Check. Yep. Now click on connect, and then that should pop up. And then what you will get on your iPod it w is it will say remote access request, accept connection from, and then the IP P I address will be there. And then there. Now you want to click accept, obviously. Accept, and then this will just come up. There you go, guys. Oh, crap. God, I don't know why I keep doing that. Oh, well. So, then, yeah. There you go. There's, uh, now you can screen record your iPod onto your desktop, and, yeah. Now, it is kind of laggy, I'll just tell you. I'm sliding it right now. Just about a second or so, but should be okay. And, yeah, ba that's basically it. How long do we have? Could probably do a quick app review. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's do an app review. Uh, actually, see how it says Cal at the top? Yeah, that is, happens to be a great app called Make It Mine. Now you just open up Cydia. Oh, it doesn't click anymore. Okay. So you just open that up. And then let that load. And, yeah. Just wait for that. Oh. That little cursor thing's going crazy. So, there. You want to go to sections. There. And then you want to scroll all the way down to, I think it was utilities. Yeah. So then you want to go down to the M. Just quickly do that. And then there. Make it mine should be right there. There's no spaces. You can search it. Make it mine. Basically it. So yeah. Then once you do that click the home button so you know how to install an app off Cydia and then you open up make it mine and basically all you do is you type something into there uh, let's say hi right and then you click done and do carrier or banner your banner is what's up here the carrier is up here so I'll show you carrier right and automatically it goes to high I click banner goes right there too yeah so that's basically it just quickly change that back to go then done that carrier banner I don't want oh Oh, well, yeah, that's basically how to change it. So there you go. Double whammy video. Just click banner. It's really laggy, but there you go. Now, there you have it. Per iPod with your name on it. So when somebody opens it up, if you don't have a passcode, it'll be right there just waiting for you. Okay, guys. 
Thanks for watching, and have a great day. And remember, don't forget to subscribe because I still haven't sold that USB cable, uh, drive that I posted a video about. So if I ever do reach 100 subscribers, I will do a giveaway on that. Okay, thanks.